Did you look at the numbers yesterday? The stock market took a big dive yesterday, closing significantly lower after the Fed warned they might have to raise interest rates for a lot longer and maybe up bigger a lot. The move could be yet another attempt to lower inf inflation rates, they say, but is it worth the market turmoil and instability? Well, join us right now here in Studio M. We've got Stock Swoosh founder, <laughs> Melissa Armo. Melissa, good morning. Good morning. You. Yesterday, the stock market took quite a swoosh, didn't it? Straight down. <laughs> it did. It swooshed straight down. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad. So what do you make of, uh, you know, the administration is always trying to put on the happy face. Things are getting better. We're, we're trying to get the inflation rate down to 2%. We're still a long ways away from it. And that's why the Fed said we're going to have to continue to jack up the rates. Unfortunately, that means a lot of people are going to lose their jobs. Well, you've already seen companies lay people off since the beginning of this year. Again, American companies are very very resilient. So they're almost planning ahead for the fact that we could possibly go into a recession at the latter part of 2023. In fact, Facebook, which is now Meta, right. is planning on coming out with more layoffs by the end of this week. So Amazon, Disney, a lot of these companies, Microsoft, have already laid people off since the beginning of this year. They were overcompensating by bringing people on board in the last few years since COVID, and they almost overhired because it was such a competitive market. Right. And now they're laying people off. So that's a problem. And remember, unemployment the unemployment rate actually comes out Friday, so we'll see what it says. But that's a lagging indicator. So every time we get the number, every time the administration, you know, talks about the number, it's retroactive was something that happened in the past. Eventually, it's going to catch up to it where we're going to see that number tick up. And it could be this Friday, in which case then you could see another negative reaction in the stock market by the end of this week. Here is the head of the Fed talking about raising rates yesterday. Watch. Have come in stronger than expected which suggests that the ultimate level of interest rates is likely to be, to be higher than previously anticipated. If the totality of the data were to indicate <clears throat> that faster tightening is warranted, we'd be prepared to increase the pace of rate hikes. Okay, so uh, increase the pace, increase the amount. Ultimately, if you have anything on credit, it's gonna cost you more and it's gonna make it much harder to buy a house. Well, first of all, I think anybody that wanted to buy a house probably bought a house when the boom happened because you could have sold your house and made tons of money after COVID. If they COVID. could find something. If you could find something. A lot of people downsize. You know, people wanted to retire early, things like that, or move to a cheaper state. Obviously, people were moving around a lot across the country after COVID, so that had a played a part in it. Probably by the end of the year, you're going to see mortgage rates at 8%. And I know people are like, oh 8%. my gosh. 8%? I know. I mean, years ago, they used to be 9 and 10. You know, when my parents bought their first house, I think it was 13%. Of course, that was a long time ago. I remember 18% during there you the go. Carter years. So 8% is cheap for you. But, you know, for most it's people, not, it doesn't it's have to very be that expensive. high. Well, the problem is that inflation right now is ticking right under 7%. But me, I'm a consumer. I buy, you know, if you go to the grocery store, you have your cookbook, you go buy food. Food costs are not 7% higher. Some of the food costs are 100% higher, 50% higher. I bought eggs so, yesterday for $7 a dozen. It's ridiculous. It's like gold eggs when you buy them, especially here in New York. I've seen them for like $10, $10 for like a dozen. So it depends where you live. But that's, they say the bird flu, this thing, that thing with the eggs. You've still seen an uptick in prices all across the board with everything. The bottom line is that people should expect the fact that if for every $10,000 saying credit card debt, you're going to pay an extra $100 even in the next, I'd say, three months with the way that they're going to raise rates. Nobody knows if they're going to raise them a half a point in two weeks or not, but they could. And so people need to be aware of that. So stand by. All right. Get, your, get some good <laughs> advice over at uh, stockswoosh.com. Right? Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for Melissa. having me. All right.